To stay focused in the midst of crisis, you need a revelation. Well, welcome, family. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Revelation Moment. And this is day five of our Proverbs. And we're excited about today because you are here with us. And if you're watching us and you're tuning in, we want you to do us a favor. Go ahead and subscribe. Click and click that bell so that you can be reminded and notified when we upload new content. We're going to jump right into this thought today. You know, in the midst of this crisis that we are facing, it's very hard and it's very difficult to stay focused. And we're bombarded with media. We're bombarded with the news. And every day uh, we're being uh, updated and uploaded to uh, as far as negative information. So I want to give you four different ways, four different ways on how you can stay focused in the midst of this crisis. All right. Let's go to our scripture for today. Proverbs chapter five, verse one. And we're going to read um, from the voice Bible today. And it says, my son, stay focused. Listen to wisdom. Listen to the wisdom I have gained. Give attention to what I have learned about life. I want to take a few moments uh, as we look at this scripture just to get an understanding. The main thing is I love it. Again, it's a father's wisdom. Solomon is speaking uh, as a father and he's saying, my son, first stay focused. If you are listening to me, if you're watching this, it's very important that you continue, continually work on your attention. Uh, The average attention span is eight seconds. And so we want to be able to stay focused on what God is trying to say to us and what he's giving to us uh, to do in this time. And so how to stay focused in the midst of crisis? Number one, you've got to understand you've got to have a revelation of your provision. You've got to have a revelation of your provision. Your provision is what is your job, your provision. Is your church your provision? What is your provision? Is your family member your provision or is God your provision? You must have a revelation of your provision. The Bible says it very clearly. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. And so in order to have a revelation of your provision, you've got to be able to focus and meditate and penetrate your mind with the provision of heaven. Heaven has unlimited resources. And so if you are a believer, if you have the faith to believe that God will provide however he provides for you, it's going to come from the revelation that you know, no matter what it looks like, all things are working together for the good. And it's working together for the good for those who love the Lord and those who are called according to his purpose. So we want you in this hour If you're going to be focused, focus on the provision of Jesus Christ. Focus on the sacrifice that he made. The Bible says we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And so what is your testimony? Are you going to testify of what God has done for you before and what he's done for you recently and what he wants to do for you now? And so you've got to have a revelation on your provision. Number two, you've got to have a revelation of your protection. You've got to know that God is with you. And if he is with you, who can be against you? The protection of God is what we call Psalms 91 protection. As you dwell in the secret place of the most high, God is hiding you in this season and he's hiding you in his divine protection. No weapon formed against you will prosper because of the divine protection of God. Now that protection does have a revelation and you've got to have that revelation that you must know that you will trust and know that he is God. And so that divine protection that God has established for you, it comes by way of revelation. You know, it's not until you know that it is God that takes you from point A to point B. It is God that takes you from season to season and from faith to faith and from glory to glory. Number three, I'm glad you're listening. Number three, Your victory, you've got to have a revelation of your victory. You must know that the enemy is already defeated. The revelation you've got to have, if you're going to stay focused 
on the things of God, the will of God, and focus on who you are as his son, as a believer, as his daughter, then you must know that you have the victory. The enemy is already defeated. The Bible tells us we already have the victory. God is Alpha and Omega. He's beginning and the end, and he's finishing your life. He's finishing your testimony. He's finishing your assignment with victory. And so when you have a when you have a revelation that you have already defeated your enemy, you cannot be defeated. And so continually focus and remind yourself, remind your spirit, remind your atmosphere and your environment that you are victorious through Christ Jesus. And number four, you've got to know and have a revelation of your direction. What direction are you going to? What direction are you going in? The Bible says go through the gates. And so as we're going through this gate, this paradigm shift, this change, as we're going through a new season, a new dimension of living, you've got to know the direction that you're going, that you're being led by the word of God. He says, my my word is a lamp to my feet. And he will guide you and he will lead you because the Bible says Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the father, but by him. And so we thank Jesus Christ for being our way, for being our direction. Uh, The song says he is our way maker. And if he's our way maker, how many of you know he will make a crooked place straight in your life? What's crooked? What's out of alignment? And so we want you to focus Focus on these scriptures, focus on these words, focus on these thoughts that will cause you to overcome in this season of crisis. Well, this is your revelation moment for today. This is day five. And don't forget to stay tuned tomorrow for day six. And if you are watching and you're just tuning in, make sure you go down and you subscribe and click the bell and connect with us through our contact card in the description. Again, we appreciate the opportunity. Let me pray for you. If you have any prayer requests, send us your prayer requests at prayer at the branch wc.org. Let me pray as we close out. Father, we thank you and we bless you. I thank you for the men and women that are connecting and listening. And Lord, I thank you, Father, that you are giving us eyes that will be focused on you and focused on your word and focused on your promises. Lord, will we have become blurry in our vision where our vision has become disgruntled and where our vision has seemed like it's not working. Lord, we know that it's working for the good. And so we turn to you. We keep our eyes on you. We remove and we cast down every distraction through media, through words, through negativity, and Father, through doubt. We thank you, Father, that you have given us life and life more abundantly. So as we pray, we pray for someone's strength. We pray for someone's insight, that they will grow and mature in you. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. Well, if you prayed that prayer with me and you believe it, make sure you email us. Let us know how we've been a blessing to you and continue to stay connected with us here in Revelation Moment. We'll see you tomorrow for day six. God bless. Bye for now.